Detectives continue to investigate a house fire in Safety Harbor. Toyota issues another recall and a sneak peek at the new Legoland. Florida Focus starts now. Ready open, dissolve to open. News from the region and from around the state. It's Florida Focus. Hello and welcome to Florida Focus. I'm Trinika Dufresne. Today is October 21st, 2010. An accident involving a pedestrian in a, F a Ford F-150 ended in tragedy early this morning. Ronald Brown was heading northbound on 28th Street South in St. Pete when an unknown pedestrian stumbled into the road. Brown struck the man despite his effort to avoid him. The victim was pronounced dead at Bayfront Medical Center. A house fire occurred this morning claiming the life of one man. Reporter Nessie Caban has the story. Roommate Sean Kirkwood worked hard to save his buddy's life after waking in a house filled with smoke. 48-year-old Douglas Johnson was pronounced dead after his Safety Harbor home caught fire on 7th Street in Bailey. Pinellas County Sheriff's investigators are still searching for the cause of the fire. Mr. Um, Douglas was uh, utilizing an oxygen machine at the time that the fire occurred and he was also uh, a smoker. Uh, not that we know that the two are connected at this time, but that is certainly something that is currently under investigation. Though the cause of the fire is still under investigation, authorities say it doesn't appear suspicious. Thank you, Anessi. For the third time in about a year, Toyota issues another recall. Amy Mariani has the story in the newsroom. The Japanese automaker looks to fix the brakes on more than a million cars across the globe. The recall applies to 13 models and spans across the United States, Japan and Australia. Toyota will notify car owners by mail starting early November. If your brakes act unusual, go to your nearest Toyota dealer or check out toyota.com slash recall. Tropical Storm Richard, the 17th named storm of the season, may soon be a hurricane. Florida Gulf Coast residents are advised to monitor the storm. Forecasters believe Richard could hit the southern Gulf by Sunday. Winter Haven gets a sneak preview of their new amusement park today. The former Cypress Garden site will now become the home for Legoland Florida. The park will feature more than 50 rides and shows. Legoland Florida will open in the fall of 2011. Don't worry if it's Nacho Day, because today's International Nacho Day. Nacho creator Ignacio Naya made the 1940s dish to feed the wives of U.S. soldiers across the Mexican border. Thanks for watching Florida Focus. We'll see you tomorrow.